Caboose, we got some WB news, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is really interesting. Became a bit of a hot topic um, just before the weekend, I believe, or actually over the weekend, right around the right no Friday, was it February? Yeah, I think 5th? it was Saturday. Friday. No? Friday. So February fifth was oh well. February fifth was when it was updated. Pretty oh. much, the news came out right before the weekend. Became a bit of a hot topic that WB Games has patented the Nemesis system. So now mm -hmm. any game that wants to use what they have as the nemesis system in the Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War games, I guess, I don't know, they have to pay for it or, or whatever this sort of situation is going to be. A lot of opposing opinions to this. And people are like, you can't really patent an idea or just a feature in a video game, you know? Right. Um, it'd be like patenting third person or first person games. Like you can't prevent other games for potentially using what may be a cool idea that yes the people who made shadow of war shadow of mortar created but someone can take that and turn it into something else mm -hmm. someone can make it better more refined you know but now it's it's patented it is licensed and i think wb games apparently can hold on to that until 2035 so i guess i just want to throw it to you guys and see what you think about this is this is this wrong should they patent it because it was such like a beloved feature in those games is this something that like wbms should protect or should they just allow any developer that creative freedom to be able to utilize such a good idea well it's stifling creative freedom in my opinion anyway yeah. Um, yeah which is really ironic when you look at a game like shadow of war which aside from the nemesis system was just a game built up from other people's ideas like yeah it, it has like so the batman really really combat Right, exactly, and kind of inspired by Assassin's Creed too. The only unique feature was that Nemesis system, and yeah. it's it's just kind of funny that now, yeah, they went after the patent, <laughs> not only once but twice. Like they yeah. they were rejected the first time around. Yeah, I think yeah. they, they tried they, in 2015. I think yeah, I think it was 20, yeah. 2019. I was reading somewhere oh, okay, that they okay. that they went for it too. Um, uh, so I maybe they went it a whole bunch of yeah. times. Um, yeah, I, I think they did it in the first game, like when Shadow of Border went out and they had a Nemesis system, they tried sure. and got rejected and then tried again. Yeah. And somehow it passed, but... Mm. I don't but like it. Just plain and simple. Is this, is this like new, because I'm not too familiar in terms of game systems, like mm -hmm. um, the mechanic or the engines within games. How, like, are they patent? Like, the RE system, I, I would think that would be patent, right? Um, to, like, RE games. Am I, am I wrong for thinking that? Like, how, like, how surprising really is this news? Is it, is it surprising because it is using that Shadow of War engine, right? Or is it surprising because, like, this is becoming more common? So it's it's not an engine that they patented. It's a mechanic. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's like, a mechanic. Yeah. With your example of like the RE engine, that's that's Capcom's proprietary engine. This is yeah. just an in-game mechanic where yeah. uh, you mm. you fight an enemy, it defeats you, it grows stronger, it it kind of grows like a personality yeah. and stuff. Um, like like Avengers. I don't know if Avengers really has this specifically, but has something similar in Avengers to a nemesis system where you can fight like villains over and over again, and as your character levels up, they will level up with you and be sure. stronger. Um, mm -hmm. So like, I wonder if you know, let's say WB had the patent, would Avengers be able to even implement a system like that unless they were going to be forking over the money to WB Games for this idea? Um, and I gotta agree with you, Steve, on this spe like specifically with the idea that like. Shadow of War, Shadow of Mordor, like in gameplay, in design, borrow a lot from very successful third person action adventure games. Mm -hmm. um, and that's like not to the fault of the developers. You know, like this oh. is this is a WB mm -hmm. Games thing more than it's a, anything yeah. to do with the developers. Um, so, I mean, it's a tough situation. I, I'm not sure what this means going forward but like i would i would have just rather that anybody can take a cool idea that is the nemesis system and riff on it do whatever they want with it you know Absolutely. or just or just using their games it's a cool idea people will know where it came from everyone knows where it came from because it's such a such a thing like tied completely to the uh to the to the middle earth games so yeah, yeah. i don't know I, I'm, yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of this, to be honest. No. I, I do want to point out uh, Remy Ismail's tweet uh, 
for those that don't know, he's a game developer and oh, okay, like a yeah. pretty vocal spokesperson in the games industry. He, he wrote something that I, I thought was really interesting. He said, quote, since I was forced to learn about this, a patent is not a copyright and having one doesn't necessarily mean that they'll enforce it or win a case on it. What it does mean is that they okay. made a move to ensure they legally could and that in itself is meant enough that I hate it. So it's not saying that, mm. you know, Ubisoft can't go and make their own nemesis, quote unquote, system mm. and implement it in a game. It just means that now they're taking the risk and say, well, if we do this, can WB do. come after us? And is it even worth it? Yeah. And yeah. at that point, yeah. like, know. obviously, like right. how. It, yeah. And like, at like. Lance of this story, I do think, yeah, obviously, this sucks because it does stifle creative freedom in terms of what the potential is for um, this mechanic to be used or to evolve. When you know, when you're working in a creative industry like this, a lot of developers obviously look to other games as reference, look on how they could improve mm -hmm. other systems that were used in games. Hence, Caboose, what you're talking about with the arc of games and the combat system. We see that everywhere now um, with games, um, yeah. which obviously is borrowed from the Batman games. Um, yeah. But then when I'm thinking about this and like trying, trying to play devil's advocate, you know, which I do to really try to dissect a story a bit more, I have yeah. to first think, okay, why... Why were why did these patents fail? Like their their attempt to make this patent go through previous years, why did it fail? And I think it was like it had to be more specific in terms of what they were asking for this patent to go through. And that that's why it went through. So depending on how specific their patent on this nemesis system is, I don't know if it's really that stifling to creative freedom. Do you get what I'm saying? Like if it's a clear mimic of what they did with, um, you know, yeah. in the Shadow of War games, yes. Yeah. But if it's kind of an evolution and doesn't fall under that, is this really stifling creative freedom? And well, maybe that's why the patent goes through. And this is just, you know, a, a thought. I, I don't know specifically what, what this patent is or how it's laid out, what it covers. Right. Um, but then I think maybe it's not too much of a bad thing because we see, you know, Nintendo's very protective over their franchises and they sure. patent many things and aspects and, and patents are just common within the gaming world. Um, mm. Now seeing it to a, a mechanics structure, I don't necessarily think that could be so limiting. It, it really would depend on the company, so WB and how they enforce it. So if we see their first enforcing of this, you know, um, then I think at that aspect we could say okay yeah then they're they're going a little too hard on this yes it's it is one of those things where you have to assess the terrain and see like what comes of this mm -hmm. um it's just the idea that there could be a situation where a developer does something mm -hmm. very similar to the nemesis system but maybe not exact like in a, a carbon copy and then wb puts their foot down and says no you cannot do that sorry mm -hmm. you know we if something like that happens then the conversation becomes, well, is this even right? Like, is this morally right? Um, and we'll see. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But you're right. I guess in, in the context of if somebody, if a developer was just to straight up take the Nemesis system and put it in their game, like, okay, maybe then you would want this patent for that reason. But then I go back again to Shadow of War, to Shadow of Mortar, because a lot of people have told me like, oh, you should play those games. The combat is exactly like the Arkham games. Mm -hmm. And Steve, I don't know if you've played those games, mm -hmm. but to my understanding, it is like, it's almost one to one. Close. It's very yeah. close. And but so I mean, imagine- Because it's WB to WB. Right, so, so for sure, of course, in that, in that case, like it makes sense. But let's say we lived in a world where Rock City was like, we are patenting right. our combat system. Then a game like Shadow of War or Shadow of Mordor is less good for that. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and so and so yeah. I don't know. That's that's just the way that I'm thinking of this. That's the the way that the gears are turning in my head about this story. Um, and but you're right, Camille. We'll just have to see what comes of it first. It's it's too early mm -hmm. to immediately judge or immediately jump to any conclusions about this. Mm -hmm. But it's just the thought of what could happen that makes me yeah. worried about this even being the case. Yeah. No, it's going to be hard oh, to hmm. prove, nonetheless, because, well, we had the kind of nemesis in Pokemon, because we start with a starter level one, and then 
we grow further and further and we have all the fights with always the same character sure getting stronger mm -hmm. so that's not an innovation it's just they went further with this idea yes. But in the patent, they wanted to limit the villain customization. Like they wanted to patent that. Mm -hmm. and that's a terrible mistake because that's what makes you love a video game. That's because you can, you can hate the villain. You can see, oh no, I got this one. I'm going to beat him next time. And if you don't get that, I mean, you're limiting so many things. And they could sue basically everyone because whether you can customize, I don't know, the sex of your villain, like you change the the gender, will it fall under WB patent? I mean, what's the limit? And yeah. I'm that's that's I'm another sure. important question. That's another important question is to, to what extent can this yes. come into play, right? Yeah. Like how much of an evolution to the Nemesis system does a developer have to create something in order for them to be okay to use it? If yeah. it is to the core the nemesis system can they still be potentially sued or, or have like legal action taken against them from wb games or is it just only if someone is taking straight up the nemesis system and putting it in their game right. so again it just goes back to what camille was saying where we'll have to wait and see yeah uh, yeah and also like so, sorry uh, steve just to like continue yeah. with like example of like you know uh what ophelia was saying like when we look at you know, in shadow of war where your captain could um die but then someone else takes his ranks mm -hmm. or whatever right so i ha i would put the question out there what games really showcase the nemesis system since shadow of war before this patent actually went through like i'm trying to look at what games does this actually affect but no in the in the sense of like the nemesis system itself and like it covering as npcs learning from uh the player and being able to upgrade and being able to become more powerful based on how the player plays right i'm, I'm trying to think of like what games actually have been affected um, with this patent any game with Hook. AI, basically. Anything that scales with the player could be called a Nemesis system. I mean, I think the patent included like the hierarchy system within the bad guys, but that's kind of edgy. I'm trying to think. I'm I'm really not sure. I mean, I guess maybe that kind of proves your point, Camille. <laughs> right? Like I, but, I you uh... know, like what has really been affected there? Right? Like, that's what I'm really thinking of. Like, what games could really fall under this nemesis system? And I can't think of any. I, I just kind of think this as a way for WB to protect their property, which I would say, okay, are we expecting another Shadow of War game? Like, what? tell us what's so, happening, right? So like, I'll say this then, uh, to, to, to be uh, devil's advocate to your opinion. If there hasn't been mm. a game on recent memory that has copied or done something like the Nemesis system, why is WB Games patenting it in the first place? Well, yeah. they've what been is, trying what to is do the that need years. to patent it. But why? But see, I would say it's to protect their property. I think that is something that makes Shadow of War, Mordor and Shadow of War very unique, right? Um, they want to protect that specific like that specific mechanic that's in the game again it comes back to how they will enforce this right um if they are you know really looking for those long shots of games that kind of fall into that definition but not really then we know okay they have other an another agenda here like that's plans. not really protecting them <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right? but then, then it brings the up the question roll. It, it brings up the question like is it even worth patenting like sure yeah. there are people who really like shadow of war i mean it's but a it patent i mean it's a point of a patent. i could like take a paper and create something and say okay i'm gonna try and put a patent on that absolutely you but it's it, something and you want to protect it uh, i mean that's not wrong per se it's more will this sue other developers for that that's yeah. the kind of tricky question i guess well, okay, back to Steve. I would say yes, I think it is worth it because for WB Games, I can't think of another game that comes close to that type for Shadow of War Door or Shadow of War. Mm -hmm. When you look at Monolith, that is their game. You know what I mean? So I feel like that is worth it for them. It's like what we were talking about, exclusivity, right? right? 
having that type of game with that type of mechanic is very valuable for a yeah. publisher or a company that doesn't have anything on its roster close to that. I again, I still do, default to it's just and ironic I'm just playing, that I'm playing, and I told yeah. you're you're coming yeah, at it yeah, with yeah. like a very fair argument that like literally I I can't argue with because you're making so much sense. I just again find it very ironic that they're so centered on capturing this and like panting it and securing it on a game that has no other great idea like no other originality yeah. the ip is an original the yeah. other mechanics are an original so yeah they're holding on to the one thing that makes their game stand out above the rest and it, it just comes across as sleazy to me yeah and they're opinion. right yeah. they're right at yeah. least they have something i mean yeah. plenty game plenty of the games with no in no innovation at all for and sure just play them so yeah. once they invented something yeah. and yeah they, they should protect it but not prevent others from going further. Exactly. And, and one thing I do want to bring up. Be perfecting. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry I, just, I, I, I just want to bring up, it did spark this uh, conversation of back in 1997, Namco patented in our loading screen mini games. Uh, and that patent then went on for 17 years and effectively like killed that. People will remember like back in, back in the day, like in, NES area era that uh, during loading screens you could play little games in between just oh, yeah! five oh the my time. Gosh. Namco put a patent on that and effectively just killed that. it. That's horrible. Yeah, that, it, that's really bad. And um, that's kind and of that's kind, kind of, of what's yeah. Yeah, it, it's kind of scary, you know, having a company that has that much power. Nam mm. Bandai Namco, as it, as it went on to become, like didn't even really do anything with it. They just sat on it, prevented other people from using it, and then just said, "Well, okay, well, it's ours." Yeah. So that it just kind of sucks. Yeah. You know? yeah, and that's yeah. the thing too, right? It's like, and it, it comes back to like what they do with this, right? Yeah. Like, if they prevent people like Namco did of using it and completely or using something similar then yeah you know now we have this era of like you wait for loading games unless you have current gen um mm. you know <laughs> you you wait for that next screen to come up um and you have nothing in between right and people got creative on how to kind of disguise loading uh loading points within games but for yep. this specifically if wb is like okay yes we for the nemesis system all we're saying through this patent is we want to be involved in some way or form. So maybe yeah. they do let people use specifically this patent of the Nemesis system, but WB wants to be on the project as well. And maybe that's them securing business. I don't think that's necessarily the best way to go about it, um, just because how things roll. You know, WB is not going to be a part of everything, right? Um, mm -hmm. But maybe it is like what I was saying before, WB just finding a way to protect this franchise and what yeah. makes this franchise unique and yeah. for me what's more interesting if that is the case is what are their plans for shadow of war that like that franchise one? yeah 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 here's hoping i i mean i don't know i i, I gotta play those games too that's another that's another game that's in the in the backlog hmm. or games that are in the backlog so many in the backlog you're never getting to <laughs> mmorpgs yeah. yeah and i'm definitely <laughs> not playing death stranding oh <laughs> Again, another Jack. Did I deserve sorry. it? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, yeah. I didn't deserve that. <laughs> um, but it, honestly, this was such an interesting conversation because this whole conversation of patents and what that means uh, for the gaming industry and how it shapes the gaming industry, I feel like we could dive deeper into this for another for sure. episode yeah. as well because I completely forgot about that Namco thing and completely forgot about games that had that. That was so cool back then. Um, yeah. But that's for another episode. Let's talk about what we have coming ahead. I know, um, Ophelia, you've been writing for the website. What kind of articles can we expect from you? Well, I've quite a bunch coming up there this month, um, mostly about upcoming video games for this year's because we have plenty of games that were delayed because of COVID. So yeah. everyone's mm -hmm. coming into 2021. Yeah. So yeah, basically I'm, and I'm making a list of superhero games, but I think Caboose is going to be disappointed. Uh -oh. <gasps> oh, uh -oh. Whoa, uh -oh. whoa, uh -oh. whoa. Are we, are we going to see some Batman games at the bottom of that list? I feel like that for me. He died. Batman died. <gasps> Oh no! Oh no! Caboose, what are you Bruce gonna do? Bruce is no more. 
Say it ain't so. All right, I gotta go. You guys can find another. <laughs> he, <home>. looks, <laughs> he, looks, he looks so hurt by that statement. Batman will never die. <laughs> I should have to check it out. <laughs> no, definitely. It's it's always great getting those opinion pieces just because then you could rile up someone's emotions like you did to Caboose just now. Or, you know, other people could agree with you. I won't, I won't go there, though. I don't think Batman necessarily died. But I want to see what your arguments are for that. And I, I'm going to be definitely reading those ones. Um, sure. have, how about you, Steve? You have some articles coming up. And what else are you up to? Yeah, so I have a feature that I'm kind of halfway through. It's kind of just talking about PlayStation's new game, Destruction All-Stars, kind of talk about how the studio can continue to support that game and kind of keep it alive. Um, that should be going up, uh, I would say, in the next day or so. So keep an eye on that. You can also follow me on Twitter, at SVigvari, where obviously I'll post the link and anything else I'm working on there. That's awesome. And as well, everybody at home, you could go to squadstate.com uh, to check out all of those articles. Stephen Ophelia writes some great things. Um, now, Steve, actually, I'm going to ask, do you think Batman died? No, God, no, no, come on. Let's be real here. We're I see, see, him I see you guys do like a double take on like that article. We have Ophelia's take on superhero games and we have Steve's take and then we You're have on. Caboose take and he's just like, He's alive, and those are the only games that matter because he's such a fanboy. Mm -hmm. Batman is such a cash cow. There's no way they're killing him off. Come on. He's showing up in Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think, think so, Caboose? I'm, I'm, like, positive. <laughs> you think, you're positive he's going to be Do it, Okay, here, I'll, I'll tell you really quick why, okay? Yeah. Because there's yes, just please. no point. There's no point for them to make mention of the fact that the game's connected to the Arkhamverse unless Batman was going to be in it. Like that, that would be this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we'll dive deep into this next week or something because I have I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. <laughs> and I know you do have a lot to say because you always let us know on your YouTube channel. What do you have coming there? Uh, we got the Mortal Kombat movie trailer this month confirmed by New Line, so I'm looking forward to that. Marvel's Avengers is going to have a war table on the 16th. That's finally going to give us a look at the Hawkeye DLC. And the next-gen version of the game hopefully tease a bit of a uh, a roadmap of some kind because so. the game really it needs to pick up some steam and it needs to do that really soon. Um, and then besides that, I'm still running the Mortal Kombat 11 Tournament Champions of the Realms 2 on my Twitch channel and my buddy Destroyer's channel every Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can check me out, youtube.com slash caboose, twitch.tv slash caboose, Twitter and Instagram at caboose ek. Ah, thank you, Caboose. Yeah, I, I feel like we should get some really a roadmap, like you said, to yeah. the Avengers game, just because we talked about it. Was it last week or the week before? How it just needs something to yeah. kind of, yeah. kind of pick up pace. Although it's kind of doing a better job than Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven in terms of making those updates. It just needs to kind of get everybody ignite the flame of passion yeah. amongst fans. Yeah, and then you know, Caboose would be saying, "The Avengers never died. They're here." Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like this one. Yeah, right? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Ophelia feels that the Avengers never died. They're here. And Batman died. Oh, so what about you, Kimmy? What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> okay, so the Avengers died. Avengers died. Um, So I am pretty much just going to be playing some more Call of Duty. That's all I've been doing. I also have um, some Nintendo stuff coming up. So you can check out everything I'm working on at uh, This Is Camco on Twitter. But of course... I'm going to be here back with you guys next Monday talking. Actually, no, not next Monday. Next Monday, we're <laughs> on a break. The following Monday, we're going to be back um, talking all this good stuff about gaming. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of news to catch up on since we're going to be taking next week off. So uh, please come back for that. Remember, you could also have a conversation with us on social media at Squad State um, on Twitter, Instagram, all that goodness, as well as the website squadstate.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we will see you not next week, but the week after. Bye.